Coagicheck XS Plus. Coagulation Monitoring. Please be sure to read your entire manual carefully before you use the meter. You can use the Coagicheck XS Plus meter either with the power adapter or with batteries. The operator's manual gives you detailed information about the use of the meter. A CD-ROM contains the operator's manual in different languages. You can use the optional Coagicheck XS PT controls with the meter in case your local regulations require liquid controls. The optional handheld base unit provides connectivity to a data management system. Instead of batteries, the rechargeable handheld battery pack can be used. Let's have a look at the front of the meter. Press the on-off button to turn the meter on or off. The touch screen makes the meter very easy to operate. Test strips can be inserted into the test strip guide below the measurement chamber cover. At the back of the meter, you will find the battery compartment cover and a tab to lift the cover. The code chip slot is at the top of the meter. This is where the code chip has to be inserted. In the connection socket, you can plug in the power adapter. To insert the batteries, please gently press the tab on the battery compartment cover and lift the cover to the side. Then slide the battery compartment cover upward and remove it. You can use four 1.5 volt AA type alkali manganese batteries. After insertion, please close the battery compartment again. Additionally, the optional handheld battery pack is available. To insert the handheld battery pack, please gently press the tab of the battery compartment cover and lift the cover to the side. Substitute the battery compartment and slide in the handheld battery pack. The Coagicheck XS Plus meter operates with a touchscreen menu. You can call up any displayed function by touching the screen with your finger. To enter and change your screen settings, touch the Setup button to call up the meter settings. If you touch the Screen button, you can find four setup options. At first, you can change the contrast. Touch the arrow buttons to change the contrast in a range from 0 to 10 and confirm your setting by touching the tick button. The program automatically returns to the screen menu. The next setup option enables you to set the desired unit. Touch the Units button and choose the coagulation unit. You can select INR, INR and in seconds, or INR and quick value in percent. With the tick button, you can confirm your setting. The program automatically returns to the screen menu. Now you can select the language. Therefore, touch the language button and scroll through the different languages with the arrow buttons. Make your choice with one touch on the preferred language. After you've made your selection, touch the tick button to confirm. The program automatically returns to the screen menu. It is very important to set the current date and time before the meter can be used further. Please touch the Date Time button to enter the menu. Then touch the Set Date button and touch the arrow buttons to set the current year. Afterwards, you can choose the correct month and the right day. To confirm your setting, please touch the tick button. The program automatically returns to the date time menu. Now please touch the set time button to enter your time settings. With the arrow buttons, you can adjust the current hour and the correct minutes. AM PM settings can also be chosen here if you have selected the 12 hour format. After you have entered all settings, please touch the tick button to confirm.
the program automatically returns to the date time menu. Here you find a button for formats, which leads to the display options menu. Select the desired format by touching the corresponding button. When 12 hour format is chosen, AM PM will be available in the set time setup. With the tick button, you can save your setting. And you get back to the main menu by touching the main menu button. The Coagucheck XS Plus meter offers several options for easy handling. The sort option refers to the order in which measured and stored results are displayed when you use the review results memory function. From the main menu screen, touch the setup button to call up the meter settings. From the setup menu screen, touch the options button. Here you can choose the sort button. If you select the patient ID button, the memory will be sorted according to the patient's IDs in ascending order. Please confirm your setting by touching the tick button. The program automatically returns to the options menu. Now you can choose whether you want the beeper off or adjust its volume. When the beeper is activated, the meter alerts you to special circumstances with a beep tone. Select the desired volume of the beeper alert. When the key click is activated, the meter clicks when you press any button of the touchscreen interface. Touch the tick button to confirm. The program automatically returns to the options menu. To save power, you can set up your Coagucheck XS Plus meter so that it powers itself off automatically if it has not been used for a period of time. Just touch the Auto Off button to continue. If you wish to have an automatic off function, touch the arrow buttons to select the time of choice in minutes. And please confirm your setting again by touching the tick button. The program automatically returns to the Options menu. Your Coagucheck XS Plus meter can connect with a data management system via the handheld base unit. To activate this option, please touch the Computer button. Touch the button with the setting of choice and confirm your setting by touching the tick button. You get back to the main menu by touching the main menu button. The next setting option is important to assign authorizations for user management and patient management. To select these functions, please touch the Setup button and choose ID Setup. The administrator has special rights to enter certain meter settings. The Operator function enables you to define qualified personnel using the meter to test patients and collect data. For more detailed information, please refer to your manual. The Patient function enables you to record test results with unique patient IDs. If you select No, tests will be assigned numbers automatically and no further entries are necessary. If you select Optional, you can choose between automatic numbering and manual input. If you select Required, you need to enter patient IDs by manual input. Touch the tick button to confirm. The lockout menu contains the options for quality control that prompt the operator to perform a mandatory quality control test at specified intervals. For more information, please refer to the manual. The operator lockout ensures that the optional quality control tests are run on a regular basis to prove proficiency of operators. Select the interval of choice in which the mandatory quality control tests must be performed. Touch the tick button to save this setting. For every option except for no, you must now indicate the number of quality control levels to be performed. Touch the tick button to save this setting. The QC lockout ensures that the optional quality control tests are run on a regular basis. This is independent of the operator, however. This option should be used if you work without operator lists. Select the triggers based on lot and or time for requiring a quality control test. 
there are some general time intervals to choose in order to run a QC. Additionally, QC lockout can also be used to specify that a quality control test must be performed when a new test strip lot is used. Now let's see how to test a capillary blood sample. You need the test strip container with the supplied code chip and the lancing device, for example, the AccuCheck Safety Pro Plus lancets. First slide the code chip into the slot on top of the meter until you feel it snap into place. Place the meter on a level, vibration-free surface or hold it in your hand so it is roughly horizontal. Turn the meter on by pressing the on-off button. Wait until the main menu is displayed. And then check the battery level, date and time. Now, touch the patient test button or select a patient from the patient list. The new button can be used to enter the ID through the keypad. The test strip icon prompts you to insert a test strip. Remove a test strip from its container and close the container again immediately with the stopper to prevent damage to the strips. Hold the test strip so the lettering is facing upward and slide it into the test strip guide. The hourglass icon shows that the test strip is warming up. Then, the blood drop icon flashes to indicate that the meter is ready to perform the test and is waiting for blood to be applied. At the same time, a 180 second countdown begins. You have to apply the drop of blood within this time frame, otherwise you'll receive an error message. Now prick the side of a fingertip with the lancing device. Apply the first drop of blood from the finger within 15 seconds of lancing the fingertip. Applying blood after this period of time would falsify the result. Apply the blood from the fingertip by touching the blood drop against the side of the sample application area. Alternatively, the blood can be directly applied from the finger from above the transparent sample application area of the test strip. Alternatively, a non-heparinized capillary tube can be used. During the application process, you must hold the blood drop to the test strip until the flashing blood drop icon has disappeared. The meter performs an automatic quality control test on the test strip. After a successful onboard quality control, QC and a tick appear in the display. The result is displayed and it is automatically saved to memory. By pressing the comment button on the result screen, you can assign up to three predefined comments to an INR result. The custom button at the bottom can be used to enter free text of up to 20 characters. You have successfully completed the measurement. You can now remove the test strip from the measurement chamber and turn the meter off. Your Coagulcheck XS Plus meter has several automatic self-checks for meter and strips to ensure maximum quality of results. If required, you have the option to perform liquid quality control tests. To perform quality control tests with the Coagulcheck XS PT control solution, you need the code chip supplied with the test strip container you are using, the code chip belonging to the control solution, the vial of Coagulcheck XS PT control plasma, and the dilutant filled pipette to prepare the control solution. Please press the on off button to turn the meter on. Wait until the main menu is displayed, and then check the battery level, date, and time. After you've prepared the control solution, you can perform a quality control test. Please touch the control test button. The test strip icon prompts you to insert a test strip. Slide the test strip into the test strip guide. Now you have to insert the code chip belonging to the control solution. The hourglass icon shows that the test strip is warming up. Afterwards, the pipette icon flashes to indicate that the meter is ready to perform the test and is waiting for sample to be applied. 
At the same time, a 180-second countdown begins. You have to apply the sample within this time frame. Apply a drop of control solution directly from the pipette to the transparent sample application area of the test strip. The pipette icon disappears and the test starts. The result of this quality control test is displayed and it is automatically saved to memory. The quality control range is displayed below the current result. By pressing the comment button on the result screen, you can assign up to three predefined comments to a quality control result. The custom button at the bottom can be used to enter free text of up to 20 characters. You have successfully completed the quality control test, and you can now return to the main menu by pressing the main menu button. Then you can remove the test strip and turn the meter off. The Coagucheck XS Plus meter can store up to 1,000 INR results plus 500 quality control results with time and date. First, press the on off button to turn the meter on. If you want to view the INR or quality control results, please touch the Review Results button. Results button. To view the memory area for INR results, please touch the Patient Result button. Here you can find all test results for your patients. Touch the entry you want to open. Together with the result, the patient ID and name, operator ID, parameter tested, code number of the strip, time, date, as well as up to three comments are displayed. When you press the individual button, a list of results for the selected patient is displayed. Date and time are also shown, so you can be confident that your therapy can be optimally geared towards your patient's needs. From the quality control result list, touch the entry you want to review. You can also see other info displayed, such as QC ID, operator ID, parameter tested, QC level, as well as time and date. Additionally, up to three comments are available below for each result. The meter can be connected to a data management system by docking to the optional handheld base unit. Place the meter on the HBU, pushing it gently towards the charging contacts until it snaps into position. The handheld base unit connects to the meter to a data management system via Ethernet or directly to a PC via USB. When the meter is docked, the HBU battery charging and data transfer starts automatically. The main advantages of such a connection between meter and data management system may include transferring patient lists, operator lists, and settings, including lockouts and predefined comments from the data management system to the meter, and transferring all stored test results with the corresponding patient ID, operator ID, and comments from the meter to the data management system. This transfer of data permits further evaluation or proper archiving according to your needs. When the meter has successfully synchronized, the transmission icon is no longer displayed. The meter can now be undocked. Remove the meter from the HBU, pushing it gently towards the charging contacts until it snaps out of position. The use of the meter may be restricted to operators on a list. This could be displayed on the login screen. The operator selects the ID from the displayed list. If required, the operator may also enter a password to log in. To log out the operator from the meter, a logout button is available in the main menu. This will bring you back to the login screen. In order not to enter every patient's ID, there is the option of selecting the ID from a list. After a patient is selected, the new result will be pooled with all other results corresponding to that patient. Coagulcheck XS Plus Coagulation Monitoring